In this video, we will take a look at OneDrive Sync. OneDrive Sync allows you to synchronize files from your local computer to Office 365 OneDrive and vice versa. This way, if you edit a file on Office 365, those changes will be synced to your local computer. And if you make changes to files on your local computer, those changes will be synced to Office 365. So the beauty of this is that you can access your files on any device at any time, and you can make changes that will instantly synchronize between a single device and the cloud. Let's take a look at this in more detail. To access the OneDrive Sync app on your computer, you will find it in the bottom right corner in the system tray. Look for the blue cloud icon. Click the blue cloud and you'll see three options, open folder, view online, help and settings. Open folder will show you the local copies of your OneDrive files on this computer. So as you can see, when we click that, we are taken to the local folders and files on this computer that are syncing to OneDrive in the cloud. If I go back down to my blue cloud and click view online, I'm going to be taken to Office 365 OneDrive app in the browser where the same files are located. And we can look at this side by side. Let's see how this looks. So here you can see the folder names match up. Okay. And so that's because these files and folders are synchronizing. Okay. And so I can be in the browser here and I can open a file and make changes to it. I can edit here and modify and freely make changes. And as I do that, these changes will be synchronized down to this computer desktop where I can view those changes. All right, so I want to also now look at some of the information you'll see within your OneDrive folder. Now, first of all, you'll notice on the left that this main directory is labeled OneDrive Fresno Unified School District. So I can also access my local OneDrive files simply by clicking here. Now, you'll also see next to each folder and file, you will see a status icon. The cloud icon means that this folder and the files within it are stored on your OneDrive, but they have not been synced necessarily down to your computer. And this is actually nice because there may be times when you don't want the files syncing to the local computer because you want to save your hard drive space. Now you'll also notice that some of these have a green check mark. This means that the file exists on OneDrive and it has also been synced down to this local computer. Now, what if you want to open a file, but it shows only the cloud icon? That's okay. Anytime you want to open a file, you can simply double click on it. And on demand, this file will open. It will sync down to your computer and immediately open. So now when I close this document, you'll see that the cloud now turned into a green check mark because now it exists on my local hard drive as well as Office 365 OneDrive. Now the other icon you might notice is the swirling arrows. This indicates that a file is currently synchronizing changes to or from your local computer. Now, another thing I want to call out is that by default, many of your local files are being synced to OneDrive. Those files include the desktop, 
and everything on your desktop, the documents folder, and the pictures folder. And you will find them here when you go through your list. Here's the desktop folder, here's the documents folder, and here's the pictures folder. So those are being backed up by default. But what if you have other files that you want to sync to OneDrive? Well, for example, if I go to my videos folder here, none of these files are being backed up to OneDrive or synchronized. So if I want this video to synchronize with OneDrive, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it, click and drag over to OneDrive Fresno Unified. I can then choose to drop it in a folder, but in this case, I'll leave it in the main directory. And so now when we go over here, we should see that file synchronizing. And here it is. We have the two swirling arrows indicating that it is synchronizing with Office 365 OneDrive. You'll also see an indicator down here on the blue cloud. It now has those swirling arrows. In addition, we can click back on the blue cloud and see that we have processing changes. This shows a little history of what changes have been made. And here we see that OneDrive is, is currently uploading files. Now we see the actual progress here, so we can confirm. Another thing to call out is that sometimes your files may not sync. This is usually caused by file names that include special characters. Some special characters are not accepted by Office 365 OneDrive. And so you may see sync errors in the form of a red X in the status column. If you see a red X, check the file name and make sure that you do not have any special characters in the file name. Okay, so we just uploaded this video. Let's go view it online and make sure it exists. And there it is. You notice it also indicates that it's a new file that has recently been uploaded. Okay, and one last feature I want to show you about OneDrive Sync is the free up space option. As I said earlier, sometimes you may not want to sync all of your files down to your local computer because it uses up hard drive space. Well, there's good news. You can free up space and remove all of the local files from your computer. Simply come down here, view your OneDrive files, and you can either do this for a specific file or all the files located in your OneDrive. So for example, here's a file with the green check mark, meaning it exists on this local computer also. I can right click on this and I can choose free up space. This will now remove it from my local computer, but leave it on Office OneDrive in the cloud. Now, what if you want to do all files, all files and folders within your OneDrive? You can come over to the OneDrive link on the left, OneDrive Fresno Unified School District. You can right click and you can free up space. This will remove all files that have been synced down to your local computer and free up the hard drive space. I know this might make you nervous, but don't be. We are not deleting files from Office 365 OneDrive. Those files still exist in the cloud. And now you can see we have a bunch of cloud icons and we have some swirling arrows indicating that the synchronization is in process and making the requested changes. And you'll be able to go to your PC and you'll be able to check your hard drive storage space. And you should notice that you freed up more space on your hard drive. All right, so that is OneDrive Sync and how you can use it. Hope this was helpful and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.